next property says that the definite integral from 0 to 2a of f of x dx is the same as the definite integral from 0 to a of f of x dx plus the definite integral from 0 to a again of f of 2a minus x dx. And uh, before proving uh, this uh, property, what I'll prove is, I'll, pro I'll prove part of the property. I'll prove that this particular integral is equal to some other integral. In particular, uh, I'll show that this is the same as the integral from a to 2a of f of x dx. And the reason I'm doing this is uh, using one of the previous properties. What we can do is we can combine this integral and this integral to say that the integral from 0 to a of uh, something plus the integral from a to 2a of that same something, uh, if, we, if we can kind of stitch them together. So we can have the definite integral from 0 to 2a directly of f of x dx, which is what we have on the left hand side. So once we prove this equality, we have actually proven the property. So let's let's focus on this. What we can do here is uh, we can start from this. So we can have an integral of let's say integral of 0 to a of f of 2a minus x dx. And again, uh, this uh, looks like a composite function. If you have f of something, which is an in internal function of x. So we'll do u substitution. Or I'll do it over here. I'll say u is equals to this 2a minus x. And the moment we do u substitution, we find the differential of u. So differential of u is again, in this case, it's negative dx. And since we have definite integral, we'll also take care of the upper and lower limit. So when we have the lower limit, x is equals to 0 in this case, what happens to u? In this case, u becomes, if you put in uh, x is equals to 0, u becomes 2a. And uh, the upper limit in this case is a. So x, if you put x is equals to a, uh, u becomes uh, 2a minus a, which is the same thing as a. So if I were to rewrite this integral, it would become the lower limit will get changed to when uh, earlier it was 0. Now it should become 2a. The upper integral, uh, the upper limit, it was uh, a and now it is again a. But now inside it will become f of this 2a minus x. So we substituted it as u. And uh, this dx, dx is same as negative du. You can realize this from here. You can shift the negative on the other side and if you were to leave it from here. So I can put the negative out front again and put a du inside. So what you will realize this is, uh, we have technically proven because again, using uh, the one of the previous properties, we can say that if you have a negative outside, you can swap the limits and uh, get rid of the negative. So what, what happens when you swap the limits, this a goes down and this 2a comes up. So we have the 2a up as the upper limit and a as the uh, lower limit. And uh, f of u du is it's the same thing as f of x dx because what is in the name of a variable, right? You can change the name of the variable to from u to x. So if I rewrite this, uh, this negative takes care of the swapping of the upper and lower limit. So it becomes an a 2a. And uh, you can replace the u with an x, which is the same as what we claim to be. So once we have this uh, from our previous argument, this property holds.